Hey guys, Zoe back with Valhalla Toys, and today we're going to do a comparison video from the $44 uh, McFarlane Designer Edition to the McFarlane just regular guys here at $20. Uh, if you stick around till the end, you'll get some information on the sales we're running right now too. So, come check it out with us. Alright guys, so first we're going to check out the boxes and then we'll take you inside the packaging so we can take a closer look from the sculpting to the articulation, the paint, and the accessories. So, we're going to start off with the big bad designer, Mandarin Spawn first. So we're going to move this guy over here. We'll just put this guy right about there. So of course at first you can see all the great extra uh, extra details you can see the extra pieces and accessories that you get with it so we'll turn the box as well and i'm sure you guys have seen these you know closer up pictures and online uh you can see that there's the cool uh mandarin spawn mask that he has up at the top with some flames the medallion style uh at the bottom on the back you have the awesome uh glamour shot of him so I think, especially for the size of it, and you can tell, compared to me, pretty big. Um, I'm I'm a I'm a you know a decently small small chick, but even compared to like Noob Sabot here is like you can tell the difference. You can see just glancing at it the difference in quality. So we'll put this guy over to the side until we open them up, and then we'll transfer over and look at our, ooh, this is the bloody noob Sabot. So we'll stick him there. You can see him up close. You can see the awesome blood spanner on his ev everywhere, especially his hands. Um, unfortunately, his little uh, Sith got, got uh, out of the package and is sitting down at the bottom. And then, of course, you know, the, the side, you got MK11 on that side. You have his glamour shot there at the back. You can see how GameStop did us dirty and bent the top there, which is why we're taking it out and you guys get to look at it. And there's another glamour shot there on the side. So he's pretty awesome. I'm excited to take him out. I'm ready to see how articulate these guys are because, you know, we've, we've been in the box collectors for a very long time so we are excited to be able to take these out for you guys and see see how they are give you a review and see you know exactly what you'll be getting well not these ones these ones you will not be getting that's why we're opening them up so next one we're gonna go on to the doom slayer doomacorn he's pretty awesome he's a he's a little gimmicky awesome guy with his you know unicorn helmet there on the side you can see him on the back. He has his rainbow gun and his wings. And then you'll have his glamour shot there. And then, of course, we got these. These ones came from our distributor, though, which is why they're not on the site and we didn't sell them anywhere else. So you can see that there. And this is what you will not get from it, Valhalla Toys. As you can see there. All right. So who's ready to open them up? Alright guys, we are back. We got them out of package. We got all their accessories out, so let's take a closer look. Alright, so here is the, the the designer edition Mandarin Spawn. He looks really awesome. You can tell that there is a lot more detail with him. We're going to move him just slightly so you can see. You can see all the detail in his helmet, in his, uh, in his shoulder pads and armor. You can tell just like in his legs, you can see all the different designs and the color different uh, differences. You can see on the back here where they usually paint him bland colors. He has all of his little details filled in. You can see even his little back spikes on his legs here. They have their different colors. It's not all just like black and white or red or whatever color they decide to do. So we'll go back over on this side where you can see his really awesome uh, shin, not shin, sorry, his uh, his arm guard. And then we'll go back to the front. 
All right, you can see on his little like loincloth here that they have a bunch of detail. You can see all the different colors. We'll move that closer a little bit for you just so you guys can see. Uh, they did a really great job on the details of this figure. The only drawback is that he's he's a little less articulate than what I was hoping, but it's a whole lot better than what you normally get from just the $20 figure. So you can see that, you know, he has his little big shield here with his, uh, his Mandarin spawn dragon head on there. There's also, ooh, there's also a yin and yang. I don't know if you can see it very well on here. All right, and then we'll go into, so we'll move, we'll move him just, just slightly over here. So we'll go into all his weapons. He has his double, double-sided sword. You can see on there, hopefully you can see McFarlane stamp them with his logo, which is really awesome. You can see the battle damage on there as well. You can see, let me hold it a little differently. You can see all the great detail here on the, the shaft part of it for you to hold it. And of course, same stuff on the other side. So that is one. And then you have all these other awesome ones. So this one has the dragon on the front and you can see the battle damage of there as well. The same detail on the shaft here. Ooh, I didn't even notice that before. You can see right there that it's a little, oh, sorry Spawn, you're gonna, you're gonna take a nap. There's a little dragon head going right here. So there's that one and we got two more for you. So we got this guy, did get a little, a little warped in the, in the heat of getting shipped to us, but that's okay, that's nothing but a little heat gun can't fix. So again, sticking with the dragon theme, you have the two dragons on either side of the blade right here. The same on the back side, of course. You can see the the binding right here as well that's detailed. I wish they would have done different colors on there, but who knows? Maybe McFarlane will come out with a $60 action figure and have really, really, really great details and a bunch of, bunch of uh, included paint jobs and everything else. So here, this one's a little bland uh, compared to the other ones. There's nothing on the on the blade itself. You can see the binding down at the bottom, but there's that for the Mandarin spawn. And again, we'll give you, ooh, and under his little loincloth here, sorry, I just noticed that, he has his two awesome uh, knee guards of little dragon demon faces. All right, so from there, we will go over to, let's, you know, let's go do Noob Sabot. So there he is in all of his glory. You can see the gray blood splatter on him, on his weapon. Um, there's not much to say about him, honestly. He's, he's really awesome to, to look at. He's great. Um, the articulation isn't all too great because his, his cloak here is made of the, like, thin, flexible plastic but it's still not as flexible as what cloth would be. So when you try to bend his, whoo, and his joints are stiff. When you try to bend his knee, you don't get very far before, uh, before his cloak here stops you. Stick him back so you can see him again. He did do great detail on his blade right here with all of the blood and all of the extra extra gnarly pieces uh once you uh he also did great job on his little his forearm uh armor there as well and let's see if i push him up a little closer hopefully you can see his his face and you can see great detail there but as he is noob sabot he is a pretty well, black, he's dark, uh, he, he's an awesome gnarly figure, so they did a great job putting all of his, his nefarious ways out into an action figure. So that's all there really is to say about him. He's, he's cool, but he's, he's a great display figure, which is always great to have. Alright, last but not least... 
and still available with on ValhallaToyShop.com is Doom Slayer Doomicorn. Like, who doesn't want a badass unicorn dressed Doom Slayer to light up your desk or office or shelf of toys? All right, so we'll switch him on over. You can see his little rainbow wand thing there. I haven't seen him. I don't know this skin very well, but we'll turn him around. You can see his awesome wings. You can see his tail, which all of the all of these parts come off. You just boing one there, and then his wings just come off there. In case you don't want him to have them, which is totally your choice. His gun up here moves, and you can kind of rotate it slightly. It needs a, with it being a new action figure, I haven't messed around with it much, so it is stiff, but you can get it to move pretty well. So that part does move, which is really awesome. There's not many, many figures that you get a third gun that sits up on your shoulder for you. Um, then, of course, he has his double barrel shotgun, and overall, it just looks really awesome. There's his back. And then we'll... Whoop, sorry, guys. We will stick his wings and tail back on. And they just... They just kind of pop in. Just like that. And then the tail, you can see the little peg there. It just goes right on there. Just like that. All right. So there's those guys. Again, you can still get him uh, on ValhallaToyShop.com. So let's take these guys off real quick and do a little articulation test. So, whoo, they are definitely stiff, so you're definitely going to have to loosen them up if you're going to be uh, posing these guys a lot. Or actually, if you're going to be posing them in different ones, you're probably going to want the joints kind of stiff. So, you know, whichever way you want. So he does have good articulation in the knees. It can go almost 90 degrees like that. So that is pretty great, especially with how much armor he has. There is no real articulation in the feet. You do have a little bit. You can kind of twist him a little bit there. Um, his arms have okay articulation. Let's see. Ah, there we go. They got him up at basically a 90 degrees, and we'll put him down there and his arms they did actually oh look at that it comes right off his shoulder plates come off and you can kind of move them around as you need it has a ball joint in there let me see if i can has a little ball joint in there and then you just come over sorry guys all right and we'll just pop that bad boy back in just like that and then you can kind of move it around and it allows his arm to have well a little bit more range you can bring it up like that and of course his midsection has some articulation too can you do crunches let's see a little bit of crunch action I'll stick him back up all right can you stand on your own doomicorn you can and there is Dumacorn's articulation. All right, Dumacorn says he wants to take a nap, so we'll let him go over here and just take a nap. All right, so thank you for sticking around. Now on to some Valhalla toy news. So right now we are we are running a sale. We have it off of McFarlane, which includes the Dumacorn that you can still get. Uh, off of Star Wars, and then we also have a Funko sale, and here is the extra um, mini poster that McFarlane added in to the designer one. So you get an extra piece of art on top of your really badass spawn. So we'll stick that down there. So for the sale, it goes from now until I I don't know when. When do you think we're gonna stop this? Uh, the Funko sale. The Funko sale. Um. When they're gone? When, it, when damn near everything <laughs> is gone. So, come and get as many as you want. It is F off Funko. I will put it down here somewhere in editing. 
And then our other sale for McFarlane and Star Wars is 30 sale. That is 30SALE. I will also put that somewhere down here. It'll be in the description and all over our social media. Uh, don't forget to sign up for newsletters. You guys are the first to know about our sales. And usually, depending on the sale, not this, uh, well, no, every sale, you guys get early access. So you get at least one day ahead of everybody else. So you guys get to come in, get what you want. And get out. Yeah. One thing I would mention, uh, we've got people order like 11 to 15 Funkos in one order. So if you do that, you're going to need to give us an extra day or two because we care about the way things are packaged. So we're very particular. Yeah. Um, and so usually, you know, it may take an extra day to get a very large order like that. And if we don't think it's safe enough in one box, we're definitely going to split it up into two orders. So, not going to cost you any extra, it's just a way of us trying to keep everything safe. It's just a little thing we do to tell you that we care about you. We put we, we put real care into all of our packages that go out. Um, if you guys want, we can do a shipping video to show you how we do it. Uh, you know, let us know in the comments. If enough of you guys want it, we'll go ahead and, you know, get that out for you guys. I think we can work it into another video. So, we like can. the next toy yep. showcase, we can just maybe flash some images or you know maybe some of the stuff we have in progress waiting to be shipped yep we could kind of get a little camera action on that so maybe you know not an entire shipping video but we'll work uh work a few images yep. in and we'll, show you guys how we do it we'll show you exactly how we do it so you don't think that we're pulling your leg or anything even the five dollar pops go in order like if you buy five dollars or five hundred dollars you will be treated the same here at valhalla toys we treat you like family Alright, so with that being said, come to ValhallaToyShop.com, check out the pre-orders, get your sale on, treat yourself, and we'll see you next time. Whoop-a-loop-a-dub-dub! -dub. <laughs> Bye.